Marine Corps Air Station Yuma held their biannual weapons and tactics instruction course in Yuma, bringing together Marines from around the country. I mean, the Marines are going to be inserted via aircraft and it's supposed to simulate what would happen if the military, specifically the Marine Corps, were to get involved in a situation like this where it be in a foreign nation somewhere in the world. It's also the only training of its kind, providing pilots, weapon system operators, troops on the ground and air a world-class opportunity to hone their skills on the battlefield. The WTI candidates are scored by their instructors on their performance. They're going to be observing everything from how the Marines exit the aircraft to how they interact with the role players. There are going to be role players here that are trained to come out and act as foreigners or act as the personnel that are going to be evacuated. How they interact with them, how they handle these high stress environments, that's all going to play a factor into whether or not these instructors feel that they are ready and prepared to execute. Marine officials say that Yuma is the premier location for this type of training because of its perfect weather for aircraft and also because the community plays a big role in making this training possible. The city of Yuma has been a huge support in this, allowing for the Marines to come here and utilize these public facilities as well as hospitals and schools and other centers. The Marines who complete this training are the best in the world. Only the top 10 percent of Marines ever complete WTI. These service members are considered vital to our country's armed forces and our safety. They are a huge asset to the Marine Corps. When they leave here, everybody across the board knows what they're capable of. Reporting in Yuma, I'm Cor Snylander.